Center Middle School is on high alert this morning after a social media threat. And we're getting a live update right now, so let's check in with 41 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie. She's there. Good morning. We do know right now that a threat was made on the social media site Snapchat was made yesterday. I'm here right now with the public information officer for Center Schools, Kelly. Kelly, what can you tell us about this threat? Sure. There was a threat made last night via Snapchat, like Snapchat, like you mentioned, and we were working with police throughout the night. Uh, we've been here early in this morning, administrators. We brought our staff in early this morning. We have notified parents this morning via phone call as well. Um, we received a threat that there would be some harm to the school this morning, and so we have an extra police presence here this morning um, just for a safety precaution, being very serious about this, but also being reasonable about this. We're having our uh, staff actually check our students as they come into school, just make sure that they're safe and appropriate to be at school today. Um, any indication of who made this threat and what's being done on that level? We believe that it's a student threat. Um, still working with police to actually find out and do the investigation as to who we think it might be, but we do believe it's students who made the threat. And again, working to make sure that we have accurate facts before we start saying anything about that. All right, and uh, you know, one more thing. We've this whole week we've been talking about the use of social media with kids and making these threats online. Just mm -hmm. a couple days ago, there was another Snapchat threat at Fort Osage School. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of precautions does your school take to make sure things like this don't happen? What's really important is to have relationship with the students and with the parents. And so when students and parents can call us and, and get us in the loop and have us informed about what's going on, that's a really positive situation for us. And we have that situation here. Um, in school districts, you know, safety is our top priority. So we're always thinking about how to be reasonable and safe and take precautions, work with police when things like this arise, and just make sure we're having a positive experience for our kids and making sure that we're appropriate in how we handle the situation. All right, Kelly, well, we're going to stick with you and stick with our viewers throughout the day and bring the very latest information on air and online at KSHB.com. Reporting live in Kansas City, Ali Hoxie, 41 Action News on 38 The Spot.